Elon Musk is threatening what he describes as a thermonuclear lawsuit as the list of companies suspending ads on his social media platform X grows longer. So this is a kind of disaster for, for Elon. Apple, IBM, Lionsgate, Paramount, and ABC parent company Disney have pulled their ads from X, formerly Twitter. The departures started Thursday when Musk agreed with a post echoing an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory that falsely claims Jews are organizing immigrants to replace the white race. A lot of these brands took a look at this tweet and saw it as a step too far. That same day, the advocacy group Media Matters reported that X places ads for major brands next to pro-Nazi content. Musk then writing, the split second court opens on Monday. X will be filing a thermonuclear lawsuit against Media Matters and all those who colluded in this fraudulent attack on our company. And I think the most important thing is that in his response, in that legal threat, mm -hmm. he actually confirmed that our reporting was, was accurate. I mean, every, he said that everything in our report, actually, as we said it existed, did actually exist on the platform. X says it does not intentionally place brands next to such content and says the Media Matters report completely misrepresented the real user experience to undermine freedom of speech and mislead advertisers. Restrictions have been loosened on X since Musk bought the platform last year and formerly banned accounts have been reinstated. That's basically our core argument, is that the platform is so saturated with extremism, with white genocide, with anti-Semitism, with racism, with conspiracy theories, things that otherwise should be managed. Musk on Friday posted, anyone advocating the genocide of any group will be suspended from this platform. When an X user asked why the platform is being targeted by advertisers despite recent controversies involving other platforms, including TikTok, Musk responded, great question. Apple was reportedly on track to spend $180 million on X in one year. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.